Hello everyone. In this video lecture, we are going to see the topic event handling from the second unit of web technologies. Event handling. The change in the state of an object is called as event. In HTML, there are various events which represent some activity that is performed by the user or by the browser. When JavaScript code is included in HTML, JS react over these events and allow the execution. This process of reacting over the events is called as event handling. JavaScript handles the HTML events through various event handlers. For example, when we when the user clicks over the browser, adds JavaScript code which will execute the task to be performed on the event. Some of the events and the event handlers are mouse events. Event performed, click, event handler, on click. So when the mouse click on an element, then mouse over. Event handler is mouse on mouse over. This event will happen when the cursor of the mouse comes over the element. On mouse out. This will happen when the cursor of the mouse leaves an element. On mouse down. When the mouse button is pressed over the element. On mouse up. When the mouse button is released over the element. Then keyboard events. On key down and on key up. When the user press and then releases the key. Some sort of activities can be defined. Form events. There are many form events and the associated handling handlers are there. On focus. This will do some operation when the user focuses on an element. On submit. When the user submits the form. On blur, this will activate when the focus is away from the form element. On change, this will activate when the user modifies or changes the value of form element. Similarly, there are events for window and document. On load, this will enable when the browser finishes the loading of the page. On unload, when this will um, happen when the visitor leaves the current page, um, the browser unloads it. On resize, this will happen when the visitor resizes the window of the browser. Let us see an example. Uh, click event. So here we are having the JavaScript code. And we are defining the function with the name click event. So the function is printing something, printing some text. This is Java point. For example, we will have one button. Uh, we have defined the button with the name who is this and we are um, having the event on click equal to click event that is when we click the particular button it will call the function click event and the operation defined under the function will be executed so simply we have uh, having only one statement under the function we are writing something that is this is java point so when we click the button, who is this? When we click the button, the associated text will be displayed in our web page. This is an example for the event handling. And again, we are we can see one more example associated with the mouse events. That is mouse over event. Mouse over event means when we uh, move the mouse over some element, associated activity will be performed. Here also we are having the function with the name mouse over event and inside the and again we are uh, we have defined the uh, uh, de defined the activity under the JavaScript simply when we move the mouse over some point over some element we will get some alert message like this is Java point. So we are having the text uh, in our web page, keep cursor over me. This is the uh, point, this is the area. When we move the mouse in this area, that is the area having the text, keep cursor over me. When we move the mouse in this particular area, we will get the notification message with the help of the function execution. So that's all about the event handling similarly we can there are many events and we can uh, write javascript coding to handle many events thank you